Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin. I just got myself a Starbucks. The best way to start off a little Sunday reset. But I thought it'd be fun to do a little like Sunday reset routine because it's obviously the beginning of the month and I'm the type of person who loves to have like a fresh start or reset at the beginning of every single month. Like I wanna clean out our bedroom, our apartment, deep clean like times 10 of what I usually do on Sundays at the beginning of the month. So you guys can hold me accountable for that today. Obviously also if you're watching this and it's not the first of the month because obviously I'm gonna post this like a little bit later, just know that if you haven't reset yet, that's totally okay. You don't have to wait till the first of the month. You can literally pick any day that you wanna reset and do that. And what I mean by like reset, I don't mean anything like toxic in any way. I literally just mean like, sorry, Coco just is going crazy, but setting yourself up for success in terms of like having a clean apartment and a clean space. And I feel like people don't realize how important that really is. So hopefully you guys can find motivation throughout this video and also you can help motivate me. Also, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit later, but I'm just gonna drink my coffee. I love to start my morning just like sipping on coffee, either journaling or watching YouTube. So that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit, chill and just like mentally kind of think about what I wanna get done today. Just wanted to say good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It should be a fun little video today. Okay, fridge is like almost empty. We have like random leftovers in here. I made an overnight oats last night with some Greek yogurt. This is the new Greek yogurt I've been trying. I really like it. I saw it in Emily Mariko's TikTok and I liked that it was 100% grass fed, so I'm trying it out. Okay, I'm up for the day. Changed out of my PJs into a workout set. I always like to put on workout clothes in the morning, not even because I want to like get myself to work out, but just because it makes me feel a little bit more put together and cute and productive. I don't know, that's just how my brain works. If you've seen my reset videos before, then you know what's coming, but I'm gonna sit down, drink my coffee, and plan the like weekly menu for the week because I'm gonna go grocery shopping today, which I'm excited about. And then we're also gonna clean a little bit later. I'll probably work out today. I've been using this pad, as you can see, for a while because I have so many ripped off. But it's been my favorite pad for weekly planning because it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, obviously all the days of the week. And I just look at my calendar and see like what days I'm going to be out, what days I'm going to be home, and then I plan my recipe. But on the back, I write the actual like ingredients I want to get, like my grocery list, and then I just tear it off and bring it with me to the grocery store. grocery store by the way I've been reusing this water bottle for like the past three days because I bought it at my spin class so I forgot my water one day I just made myself a coffee because I have a whole grocery haul to show you guys and I was just telling Hunter that grocery shopping literally puts me in the best mood first I listened to a podcast when I shopped at Trader Joe's and then at Whole Foods I listened to music I'm like a music person and a podcast person, so it just kind of depends what mood I'm in. So the fact that I did both today, I'm just in such a good mood. And I'm so excited to show you everything that I got. Also, if you're new here, the way that I like to show my grocery hauls as of recently is I lay out everything the way that I'm gonna eat it throughout the week, so I put like all my meals together. I think Julia Havens gave me that idea, so I can't take all the credit for it, but that's just the way that I like to show you guys all my groceries. Also, this is a lot of groceries. I think this is the most groceries I've ever gotten at once. I've just been eating out a lot and I'm like really excited to get back into cooking after like traveling and stuff like that, so. I kind of mixed my Trader Joe's stuff in, but over here we have like the breakfast section. I got some berries to put on my acai bowls. I got some acai packets. And then I also got some avocados for avocado toast. This is micro broccoli. I'm gonna put that on top of the avocado toast. I already have some sourdough in the freezer from last week. And then I have some apples that I always snack on in the morning, like before my workout and stuff. And then I have some lemons and orange cause I've been making this like hydration elixir if you've been keeping up with the vlogs. And it's um, ginger, turmeric, lemon, orange, and coconut water, it's so yummy. And then I also grabbed these mush, which usually I actually eat mush at the end of the night, like as a little sweet snack. But technically, oats are like a breakfast food, so I put it over in that section. And then over here, 
I have some stuff that we're gonna make tonight for stuffed sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do like a vegan situation. I have some red onion, which I'm actually gonna pickle them. I've never had pickled onions. They won't be ready for tonight, but I'm gonna pickle some for the week and I'll also probably put that on my avocado toast. And then I got some limes. I'm trying this salsa. I always try to get the local items at my Whole Foods. And then I'm also trying something new today and I'm gonna meal prep black beans. So I got dried black beans. Over here, I got stuff to do chili. So taco seasoning, cilantro these diced tomatoes that's my favorite tomato brand at whole foods by the way some onion kidney beans pinto beans black beans and then some vegetable broth over here this little section i'm doing some salmon i actually didn't buy the salmon yet i usually just get it the day of since we live next to whole foods so i got some fresh dill which i'm gonna meal prep today i'm gonna meal prep all of these veggies some asparagus and then for the next day i like to do it with sushi nori like once the salmon's like a little bit harder because it's left over another meal for lunches i'm gonna do are these like goat cheese balsamic vinegar salads you guys will see later on this week because i'm gonna be vlogging but i have chicken in the fridge and then we have grape tomatoes goat cheese and then i got this super greens mix and then i'm gonna make my own salad dressing and then i got some bone broth and some carrots partially because coco loves carrots and also because i love doing like carrots and celery in my soups Another random thing I got is chopped spinach. I usually put this in either soups or my smoothies in the morning. This is my little miscellaneous section. I got a bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's. Their ginger shots, their turmeric shots, coconut oil. I always bake with coconut oil. I'm trying tahini. I don't think I've ever tried tahini, but I really want to do like tahini muffins, like chocolate tahini muffins. Tahini is like very creamy. You can also do like hummus with it. My favorite almond butter, I was very low. I literally go through this so much. I eat so much almond butter. And then I already snacked on these on the way home, but it's just mango slices. The only ingredients is mango and they're just dried mango. I love having these as like a little snack. And then I got almond milk and oat milk. These were on sale today, thank God. Just made my coffee with them so they're open. And then I got this Purely Elizabeth Granola for the acai bowls. I saw someone talking about these on TikTok. I love this brand, Lesser Evil. I really like all the ingredients. And then I also got these plantain chips. We get the plantain chips at Takaya and I love them so much. So I feel like those are probably gonna like taste like that. Next thing that I like to do is actually goal setting. I like to set goals. Obviously, I'm a very goal-oriented person. Like, I do a lot of to-do lists, and it's just something that keeps me motivated, and I prefer to do, like, specific goals. Just something that's, like, trackable rather than just say, be healthier. Cause then it's like, well, what do you mean by that? You know, like, are you trying to go on walks more? Are you aiming to drink more water? Like, it doesn't have to be like number specific, but just specific in terms of what are you wanting to achieve? You know, like an attainable goal. That's just like what has worked for me. So maybe it'll work for you guys. I have my journal right here, just a regular, I think it's called, I forget what the name of it is, but I just got it at Target. They have them at like different bookstores on Amazon. I will link it down below if you're interested. It's actually like one of my favorite journals. And I think it was pretty affordable, but I'm just gonna write down a list of goals that I have for this month. And I also try to challenge myself. Of course, I want it to be realistic. Like I'm not gonna say, oh, I wanna work out every single day this month. Cause I know me and I know that I listen to my body and I'm not gonna get to the gym every month. I don't wanna get to the gym every month. And I just try and be like very realistic. But at the same time, you obviously wanna like challenge yourself and you just wanna find a balance. So I'm gonna write myself some goals and I'll share them with you guys when I finish up. Okay, I just finished, so I'm gonna read them to you really quickly in case you guys are interested what my goals are. The first one is work-related and it's posting consistently, like having a consistent posting schedule. So I post like two times a week on YouTube, two times a day on TikTok, one times a week on Instagram. That's like my personal like social media strategy. So I'm gonna try and stick to that all month. For workout-related, I wrote down that I wanna spin three times a week. That's really for like my mental health. And then I also wanna lift two times a week because one, I've been really, really loving lifting again. And two, 
to I have a lot of like lifting goals in terms of like how much weight I want to try and lift and stuff like that so I'm gonna try and lift two times a week and then spin like anywhere from two to three times a week and then I also want to go on daily walks one because it's really good for training Coco and two it's good for me to get out of the apartment and go on walks in like the wellness category I always do like little categories I want to drink my water bottle every day the big Amazon water bottle that I have I really drink way more water when I'm holding that I want to meal prep once a week because the weeks that I meal prep like I'm gonna do today my life is so much easier and I just prefer it so much more I save money it's less stressful and I just really really like it so I'm gonna try and meal prep once a week normally I do that anyway but sometimes like I skip a week or whatever next thing in like the wellness related category is when I'm grocery shopping I want to try grocery shopping smarter so if there's something at Whole Foods that I can get cheaper at Costco like I want to get it at Costco I want to read every single night for 15 minutes and I also want to have one day a week that is like no social media scrolling and then one like really random fun one that I want to do every single week is check the produce that's in season I really want to make it a point to always be eating the vegetables and fruits that are in season just because it makes me feel really good I usually use gathered nutrition's website to do this her website is so easy to follow which reminds me I want to talk to you guys about Squarespace who's sponsoring today's video I know a lot of you either work for yourselves have your own businesses or are trying to create your own like website and things like that so if you guys aren't aware Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that helps you create a domain or a website and it's super super easy to use that's why I love it I remember that was always like the one thing that would stop me from like starting a blog or starting to post or edit YouTube videos and stuff was trying to figure out a new platform and Squarespace is super, super easy to figure out. So a few things that I feel like set Squarespace so much farther ahead is that they have so many different features that you can use on your website. So you can like set up a mailing list, you can have a comment section, you can set up an online store if you have like merchandise that you're trying to sell or journals or whatever it is that you sell, you can have it right on that website and they offer all those different features and they just make it really easy for creators to monetize their expertise and their content and also they're offering all of my subscribers 10% off with code Caitlin Nolan so head to squarespace.com slash Caitlin Nolan and try them out I promise they're one of the easiest platforms to create a domain or website thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video I'm gonna go make myself some lunch I'm gonna heat the rest of the soup up I think I'm also gonna try those plantain chips you guys saw I got these at Whole Foods I've never tried them before so we're gonna do a little taste test they're more potato chip than they are like tortilla chip, so I don't really know if I love it with the salsa, but I like them. I just want to do it with salsa. Just heated up the soup. I'm going to put some avocado on there, some micro broccoli, some cilantro. Let me just see if this will work. Hannah Jar used to oh, always do this on TikTok, and I've done it ever since. So shout out, Hannah. And then I'm taking a ginger shot that I just got, so that's my lunch. The Trader Joe's ginger shots are so easy to take. There just must not be as much ginger in them, but they're still really yummy. I'll see you guys after I finish up my lunch. And then we're also gonna do some cleaning today. I promise I'm just putting it off because I don't really want to. Okay, it's a little bit later. I feel like the way that I look today kind of gives away how I feel. I feel like I'm just like all over the place. And to be honest, the only reason why I'm continuing continuing to do a Sunday reset is because I'm filming. So not gonna lie, you guys are like my only motivation today. It's really gonna be a low energy meal prep. I have the chicken, sweet potatoes. I'm also gonna make the pickled onions. I'll put all of these recipes down below because I'm really gonna like do it as quick as I possibly can. I have like no energy. But all of these things are actually really simple to do, so it shouldn't take me too long, but let's do it. First thing I wanted to make this week was a huge thing of chili. So we did three bean chili. I will put the recipe down below. I've made it so many times. It heats up really, really well as leftovers. That's why we love to do it. Pretty much you just do onions, tomato, tomato paste, siete taco seasoning, three different cans of beans. I always rinse my beans before I put them in. And then you just let that simmer. And then the next thing I really wanted to make this week was pickled onions, just cause these are so good for my gut health. And I also love them on like avocado toast, mixing the salads. I used 
Lil by Ella's recipe. I'll put her TikTok down below. But it ended up being so easy to make. I'm definitely gonna add this to my weekly meal prep routine. Also made some jasmine rice to have in the fridge and some chicken breast and also some sweet potato. Okay, I'm kind of looking insane today. My hair is just all over the place. Since the last time I filmed my Sunday reset routine, one thing has definitely changed and that's we have Coco. So we take her on walks like three times a day-ish. So we're going on a walk. Okay, that's pretty much everything that I do for a Sunday, like reset, monthly reset. But I was trying to think about why I even like like resetting so much and I realized it's just because I like to be in control Like I love the feeling of being in control of my own life being in control of my own thoughts Obviously like every single day is not like this every week isn't like this every month isn't like this I don't always have a reset These are just things that I try to strive for and I also feel like it's super important to remember that it's okay when life like things get thrown at you that you aren't prepared for and that's just life like we're always going to be thrown into situations that we either don't expect or we don't want to happen if you are on this video because you want to reset your life or set goals for yourself you're just trying to reach your best self i think it's just important to remember to not get like obsessed with the fact that you want to be in control but yeah just take like one step at a time clean your apartment clean your space but see you guys in my next video